Welcome everyone to Dublin, the capital city of Ireland. Located on the country's eastern coastline along the Irish Sea, this is the most northerly stop of the season and the chilly conditions prove just that. A record 85,000 spectators and passionate fans have gathered to witness the world's best cliff divers here in historic Dunleary Harbor. I'm Trace Worthington alongside Joey Zuber. Thanks for hanging with us. This is stop number two of the 2019 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, a long cliff diving tradition here in Ireland with events at Innismore over the years. But today, this marks the first time that Dublin will host the World Series. And here in Dublin, folks, a much different culture and climate compared to our 2019 series opener in the Philippines, where the air and water temperatures reached 28 degrees Celsius, 82 degrees Fahrenheit. It was beautiful for the divers. That was stop number one. But today in Dublin, it is stop number two where the athletes will face much colder conditions. From here, we head south to Polignano Amari, Italy, then off to the Azores Islands of Portugal for stop number four. Beirut, Lebanon will host the series for their first time ever before Mostar, Bosnia and Herzegovina for stop number six. And then the season finale wraps up in beautiful Bilbao, Spain. Red Bull cliff diving expert Joey Zuber, Zuber is hanging next to me. And Joey, the big story here is the climate. That being said, let's talk about the format for today. Under these particular circumstances, it's changed just a little bit. Certainly, Trace. Today's competition will have a modified format due to a safety ruling concerning the water temperature, which is below the allowance of 12 degrees Celsius. Okay, what this means is the athletes will have the choice to perform dives that they are more comfortable with under these conditions. So basically the high degree of difficulty dives will inherently come with more risk. And this is compounded by that cold water, which tends to have a much, much tougher impact on the body. And not forgetting to mention, it's still pretty brisk outside, pretty windy, and this inhibits the muscular function of the athletes. All right, well said. And now for the official statement on today's format, let's hear from two-time Olympic gold medalist and Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series sports director, Greg Luganis. Well, we've had a very interesting development here in Ireland. Uh, the water temperature is below 12 degrees, which is a safety measure for the athletes uh, to compete in that type of weather, doing the difficult dives that they're, they're competing. It's really difficult for them. They're, they're possibly risking injury. So we want the athletes to be safe. And so they aren't gonna be doing the most difficult dives, but we do want to crown an Irish champion. So they are gonna compete in the regular format and they aren't gonna be required to do their, their more, most difficult optional dives and no points will go towards the awarding of the points for the World Series, so that's not gonna be affected, but we will be able to crown an Irish champion here. All right, so an Irish champion will be crowned today, a lot at stake, and uh, Joey, as an expert in the sport who's been in these situations, what does this mean for the athletes and their tactics? Well, I think more than ever, it may come down to style and execution, so perhaps some of the the other events and many of the divers will choose more suitable dives for this particular competition. Possibly some of the divers might take a chance at some higher degree of difficulty dives. Right. And this might pay dividends, particularly in the case of Konstantin Popovich, who's accustomed to diving in those cold conditions in southern England. All right. We're about to get going with the women. But first, let's tune up your knowledge on Red Bull cliff diving and how it works. This is not a sport for the faint hearted. Divers take off from up to 27 metres or 90 feet, the same as an eight-storey building. Performing a complex series of twists and somersaults, they are scored by five international judges. <laughs> there we have it. In just three seconds in the air, the divers can reach speeds of up to 85 kilometres per hour or 53 miles per hour. Scores are added across two days of competition to give an overall total. That is what you call a rip entry. To earn these scores, divers must perform four different dives of varying degrees of difficulty. Oh. Sensational. This is just insane. <laughs> I'm in the bottom. 
The male and female divers with the highest total scores win the event. I'm really happy. And after all seven events around the world have been completed, the divers with the most series points will be awarded the King Karkili Trophy as the 2019 World Series Champion. This is Red Bull Cliff Diving. That's how it works. And folks, since we couldn't bring the 85,000 fans to the cliff, well, we brought them brought the cliff to them and the men's platform stands 27 meters 90 feet off the water the women's platform 21 meters 70 feet off the Dunleary Harbor the spectators are in for a treat today Joey the first three rounds of four are complete as we head into the final and most critical round so get us up to speed on some of the earlier round highlights from the ladies now we're watching Rihanna Nifland, the three times Red Bull Cliff Diving Women's World Series champion. Beautiful required dive. Look at the grace and elegance. Beautiful stretched out position. And adjusting for the landing. Slight mistake on the entry, but Ginger Huber, one of the most experienced athletes we have in the field. One of my favorite dives, the flying front, flying forwards there. There's the blind entry, using peripheral vision to adjust for the landing. Lassan Richard, rotating backwards here. And look at this entry, smooth as silk. She is famous for those rip entries, I would call her rip master. Ida Schmidbauer picking up the degree of difficulty with a back triple somersault in the pike position, one twist, using a lot of force and power from the platform. So she's been working hard to improve her dives and improve she has on that particular maneuver. Adriana Jimenez here, round three, and you can see the wind Coming from behind, so when you're standing backwards and putting your arms above the head, your body's almost like a sail. You're on your tippy toes, very hard to balance, but nonetheless, the fine result of that particular dive, the inward double somersault in the pike position, so she did a great job under those windy conditions, very elegant. All right, so challenging conditions for the world's best cliff divers. Five judges led by head judge Claudio Domiro of Italy. Three-time European champion Anka Piper of Germany is here along with Ildiko Kellerman of Hungary and then Olympians Jeff Arben and Marion Reef round out the panel of five judges over there on the boat right near the landing spot. And it is chilly. You see they're all bundled up. The wind is also going to play a factor. 12 degrees Celsius, 54 degrees Fahrenheit. The water temp, 11 degrees Celsius and 52 degrees Fahrenheit. So again, it is chilly. 16 kilometer per hour winds outside. And you can see the officials and checking it out and getting that official wind speed. And the flags blowing, that is the pier, the famous pier out here on the harbor. The Carlisle Pier, packed with 85,000 fans. Here is the run order for the women, and it is the lowest score after three rounds of diving, which will run first. So that is Jessica McCauley, who will kick things off. Ellie Smart of the United States will run third. Ginger Huber, who we saw in the highlights, will run fourth. Nestia Rava, Schmidbauer, and Jimenez running seventh. Lisanne Richard, having a good first three rounds, will run number eight. And then Rhiannon Ifland, the three-time Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series champion, leads after three rounds. Now, all four dives, all four rounds are added together for the grand total, so it's important to be consistent. So far, Ifland has showed us how consistent she really is, Joey, as you look at the wind and the platforms right here. Yes, Rhiannon Nifland is a real powerhouse in the cliff diving scene, so consistent, got huge degree of difficulty. Just like to highlight how brave all of these athletes are. Remarkable that they can handle these conditions and dive from such heights. As Trace Worthington said, 21 meters high. Greg Luganis on the screen there, the sports director. All right, we're going to kick things off with Jessica McCauley in this fourth and final round. Now a permanent diver, 25 years old, represents the UK, but resides in Texas in the United States. Very consistent top five finisher, Joey, in 2018, including three podiums pretty much an adrenaline junkie too absolutely yeah. slack lining she can slack do it all. Lining. she doesn't get high lining from very very high scary places <laughs> entertaining the crowd warming up she's got to warm up that's and it's exactly, cold outside that's exactly what you need to do nice show womanship i would say i would say in front of this huge crowd 
got some work to do here. She wants to get on the podium. First to go of nine women here in the fourth round. From triple somersault in the pike position. Here we go. Good in the air, not bad on the landing. Jessica McCauley, now will that bring her up in the rankings? Now this is the fourth and final round. It's time to step up the degree of difficulty. Pretty impressive, front triple somersault in the pike position. Getting out of the water nice and quickly. Beautiful smile there, really enjoying the day today. It's great to see. So front triple somersault there, there's the pike position. This is the Barani, which is a trampoline maneuver. So you'll notice the divers are landing feet first as opposed to head first. Watch the arms throw to generate that angular momentum, the rotation. Full marks from the judges. Look at that L shape folded like a pocket knife. Now she's opening out, looking at the water. Now she needs to make those split second judgments. And it's so hard to do that at 71 kilometers per hour. So Jessica McCauley kicking off the fourth and final round here today. The sun is setting. So five judges, the high and the low, are tossed out. The remaining three multiplied by the degree of difficulty. So a 69 on that particular dive. When you add all four together, 226.754 McCauley. Brings her up a little bit on the leaderboard. As we look at the beautiful Dunleary Harbor and the town of Dunleary in the background. Great shot, great view for the athletes, including Celia Fernandez of Spain, a wild card diver, and wildly doing the worm on the platform. Fantastic. What a show. Love it. Works as an engineer in Barcelona. Strong gymnastics background. Great attitude. Caught up with her a couple days ago on the bus ride over, and she was a crack up. She is very lively, very bubbly. Performed in the House of Dancing Water in a prestigious show in Macau, China. But now we're on the prestigious stage of the Red Bull Cliff Diving yeah. World Series. And the safety divers down below, very important to this sport. They are. They are there to make sure the athletes are safe and sound. And you'll watch them splash the water to help the athletes see the surface, not to make the water softer. They must see the water perfectly. Beautiful in the air, a little bit of a splash on that entry, Joey. And so important to this sport, as you keep talking about, got to hit those landings if you want to get up on the podium. Yes, it is about hitting the landing, but they need to look at all parts of the dive fairly and equally to take off the flight and the entry. So there are three parts to look at from our expert panel of judges. Celia Fernandez, a big smile on her face. She's completed her fourth and final round. And a replay and there is, of yes. the worm. Yes, I mean, look at that. <laughs> the form, I mean, exceptional form on that. Okay, back to the diving now. So back, double somersaults with one twist. And she was looking like she was a little bit fast at the end of the dive. You can see her really stretching the body out to slow it down. Sixes across the board is what she'll keep. She'll throw out a four and a half. One judge did not like the worm, is what I'm thinking here. But Celia Fernandez, not a bad score in grand total. <laughs> Worms a 9.5, oh, man. 213.45, two and probably like, I would say 112 on the worm. Look at that, 85,000 fans, a record attendance for the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. More events, stop number two here in Dublin. People having a great time. Ellie Smart as well from the United States. She gets set to drop the new permanent diver for this season, founder and CEO of the Clean Cliffs Project that has a mission to prevent plastic pollution in our world's bodies of water and inspire others to take action through the art of cliff diving. Good on her, Joey, for that. What is she doing for her dive? Okay, so now it's time to show off some twisting action. So a forward two somersaults with two and a half twists. So we'll see the two twists at the beginning of the dive, and then she'll execute the front somersault with a half twist. Now you can see it guiding the scuba divers, so the athletes will tell them to be in a certain position that they feel comfortable with, splashing the water once again. Now let's talk about it too. It, it's, it's, it was, it's sunny, kind of in and out on the platform, and then it's dark on the, on the entry of the water. We'll talk about that in a second. Here she goes.
Ellie Smart delivers a fantastic dive. Getting the job done. There's her boyfriend, as a matter of fact, Owen Weymouth, who we'll see later on in the competition in the men's round. And he was pretty happy with the dive. Time to warm up. Be proud of that particular skill that you just performed. And we can break the dive down here. So watching that, throwing forwards, arms wrap across the chest to initiate the twist. And there's a Bryony, and she snuck it through the water pretty clean. Beautiful slow motion action, perhaps a little bit too far away from the platform. So it's important to have the correct distance from the platform. That's what the judges like to see. Some deductions will occur there. But right here, now she's just trying to make those final adjustments. And that comes up very quick. You've got to think about being nice and straight in the water. And try not to be too tense with the shoulders. How the judges see it. Seven and a half will be the high on that one, 71 points. So again, you add all four scores together, which count. Ellie Smart moves into the lead with 251.80. And there's the shot of the back of the platform. And you see the 85,000 fans. Beautiful setting here at the Carlisle Pier. Dublin Bay within the Dunleary Harbor is Ginger Huber. The 44-year-old wild card diver gets ready to go. Still very strong in the diving business. And we talk about experience, especially in these particular conditions. She's been here before in cold and hot weather, Joey. Nice entry. Your thoughts, Joey, on that one? A little bit easier with the degree of difficulty? And that's the point. The conditions are not entirely ideal, so they're just trying to play it safe, some of the divers. Some of them are trying to push it, but we salute all of the divers and commend them for their bravery. But looking at this, bending the knees nice and deep, so the arms will swing up. That helps generate rotation. Now, this is what you call a tuck position, the ball shape. Now, she kicks out into the straight position, so teaching you some diving terminology here. Right here, Trace, this is when you start to feel that acceleration curve. You've got to think about being nice and vertical, nice and tall here. Some people tend to get very tight in the shoulders and worry about the impact too much. Remember, the straighter you are, the stronger you are. Big hello to the camera, to our family back home, Ginger Huber. Well done for capping off that fourth and final round. It looks like we may see a bit more degree of difficulty from the divers to come. Judges, I mentioned Claudio Demira of Italy is the head judge. He passed the reins over to Anka Piper of Germany. She is the head judge. Seven and a half, pair of those, and a seven for a grand total of 57-2. 255-70. So Huber, the veteran, 44-year-old diver of the United States, pulls into the lead with 255.70. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram at Red Bull Cliff Diving. Make sure to hash. Tag Red Bull Cliff Diving with your photos and videos from the event if you're hanging out. And one of the 85,000 fans on hand here. Dublin and stop number two. Look at that beautiful shot right there. The yacht club down below, the Royal Marine Hotel. They do a fine job. In the background. When we talk about these challenging conditions, Joey, how do you think everyone's handling it so far as Yana Nesirava steps up? They're doing it very well. We saw a few people having some problems balancing, particularly standing backwards. But now, let's talk about this. Yana Nesirava starting to push the competition forward with a much higher degree of difficulty dive. Forward three somersaults with one and a half twists in the pipe position. She's really going to have to go for this dive. Now the nerves are building. You can watch her body language right now. She's got a lot of pressure on her shoulders. This is a tough dive to perform. And that water's getting a little, it's just a little bit darker. I mean, do you think that affects their visuals? Yes, there is a shadow cast from behind as the sun sets in the west. So visually a little dark. That's the Rava. Five to go. I mean, five of nine here in the women's fourth round. Just faltering on the entry slightly, but she's really gone for the dive. And so much has to go right in so little time. Just under three seconds in the air. 
It was interesting, Joey. She claimed that the hot climate of the Philippines was very tough for her <laughs> because she trains in a much colder climate in Belarus. That's right. So looking at the dive here, so there's the pike and here's the entry. So just miscalculating slightly. So watch how the arms will throw forward. That generates that rotation. There's the twist. You can see the, the feet overlapping slightly. That's a little trick to stop the feet splitting apart. What I'd like to see there is the legs drawn much closer to the body to get some additional points. But as we we're talking about earlier in the show, it's so difficult to get the body moving with these harder dives. You have to use a lot of energy and force. It's hard to feel your feet. So once again, a commendable performance by Jana Nestriava. 62. 262.90. So Nestirava with that dive, even though the landing and the entry was a bit off, moves into the lead with 262.90. So Ginger Huber of the United States in second, another American in smart in third. Rihanna Nifland in fourth. She hasn't even taken her fourth dive. Schmidt Bauer on tap. And there is Ellie Smart. Having a little sip, trying to stay warm, spectating, looking on to that tower where, again, that women's platform, 21 meters, 70 feet off the water. And Alessandro De Rose, he gets warmed up. The men coming up a little bit later. We'll see De Rose and the rest of the crew. Gary Hunt is diving unbelievable. The seven-time Red Bull Cliff Diving World Champion is in that mix and leading the way after three rounds. Ira Schmidbauer of Germany, her fifth career appearance on the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Watching her keep her jacket on to stay as warm as possible until the ultimate moment before you're about to dive. A wise move to keep those shoulders nice and relaxed and smooth. Very hard to balance backwards on this particular dive. Inwards, so she'll face backwards, jump up, and then she'll rotate in towards the platform trace with three somersaults. You have to come very close to the platform on this dive. Wow, look at that. Ira Schmidbauer, she wants a podium spot here in Ireland. She put a, all of her energy into that particular dive, and you have to. Every bit of power, every bit of effort is required. And she would dearly love to be on the podium one day. So she's been working very hard, steadily improving over the years. Ira Schmidbauer, the wild card, standing back with one somersault, two somersaults. Now, the aerial awareness is key. With these particular dives, Trace, mm -hmm. you feel that light, heavy sensation. So watch this. So light, heavy, light, heavy. And then you're coming out at that point. That's a method to orientate yourself. Some of the divers will try and spot the water. They'll try and count the somersaults. So right here, but you're moving so quickly, you just get a little flash of the water here. And then using your air sense and experience by doing these dives over and over. So you spend a lot of time on the 10 meter platform performing the acrobatic maneuvers over and over so you're confident by the time you take the leap from 21 meters. You can't do that many repetitions from these heights. Not a bad score for round four for Schmidbauer of Germany. That 74-10 added together with the first three, 275-60. So the German wildcard diver moves into the lead. Nestorava of Belarus now in second and Ginger Huber of the United States in third. Those are the top three in the podium positions so far. Adriana Jimenez, Lissan Richard, and Rhiannon Iflen yet to die. But right now the score to beat, 275.60. We're getting closer to crowning a champion here in Dublin and stop number two of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Blake Aldridge, he's trying to stay warm. We'll see him on the men's side coming up shortly. And they've been dealing with some conditions as well as Andy Jones of the United States with his wife and new baby daughter are in the house. Tell you the weather is cooperating pretty nicely so far, Joey. Here's Adriana Jimenez. Okay, the competition is ramping up now to take the lead. She would need to score seven halves or more than seven halves from the judges. The pressure's on. Three more divers. Wow. 
Talk about a rip entry in the words of Joey Zuber. That is how you do it. That's what she needed to do. Like I was saying before, there is a score requirement to meet and perhaps she might have that. So it will, will be a nervous wait from the judges to see how they will score it. Choosing to go with a relatively easy dive, but going for maximum execution. Did that punt pull off? A lot of eights in there. A seven and a half will be tossed along with an eight. Watching the dive, rotating forwards. Very, very clean line. So she narrowly missed the Olympics in 2004 and has made an excellent transition into the discipline of cliff diving. But looking at everything, look how the legs are together, toes are pointed. So this sport is about aesthetics. We're not judging the degree of difficulty, we're judging the form. Is the takeoff good? Excellent elevation. Is the pike good? Yes, nice and closed. Are the toes pointed? Yes, they are. Beautiful action as we watch that Barani maneuver, which is taken from the discipline of trampolining and gymnastic, gymnastics. Landing feet first because the impact 71 kilometers per hour. How are the scores faring? 67.20. So far, she's in the top three for one of the best looking bathing suits so far. First place for Jimenez. So guaranteed a podium with two competitors remaining in Lisanne Richard and Rhiannon Iflan. So how will that hold? We'll find out shortly as Jimenez now moves into the lead to 80.60 is the score to beat. Schmidbauer, not bad for the wildcard diver in second, and Nestirava in third. There are the top three podium positions at the moment with two to fly. Very interesting competition, playing that game between degree of difficulty and style and execution. Lassane Richard from Canada. And Staying impressive. nice and warm. Yeah, an impressive comeback, Joey. We talk about this a lot when she had that neck injury in 2017 and right. actually had a shot at the 2018 title just last season. What an amazing comeback. You know, she really did challenge Jimenez and Ifland last season for the overall title. She did, yeah. Bad for mother of three, too. Absolutely. <laughs> Third place overall yeah. after an entire season off in 2017. So, wow, talk about a, a comeback woman. Incredible. Beautiful harbor. Built between 1817 and 1859. Took over four decades to construct this harbor. And Lisanne Richard. We'll see how she handles these conditions. And it doesn't look that bad just for the viewer, Joey, but when you stand outside, you catch that breeze, you land in that water, you're a spectator out there. It's pretty cold and looks a, feels a lot rougher than, than the visuals. It is down below on the pier, a little calmer. But once you get up on top of that platform, you and I were on the platform earlier today, yeah. just before the competition, and it was blowing a gale. It was strong. Here we go, Lisanne Richard. Final dive before Rhiannon Ifland. San Richard, what an entry, simply brilliant. The other competitors know it. Will that do it? Will that put her into the lead over Adriana Jimenez? This is great. Some first class cliff diving here today by Lassane Richard, stepping up the degree of difficulty and coming up with a fine entry on this dive. And that's what she needed to move ahead of Adriana Jimenez from Mexico. So back triple somersault in the pike position. Now she'll need to score more than fives from the judges, and I do believe she'll get that. There's the half twist at the beginning, but I'd like to see that pike a little tighter. That's the pike position there where the legs are straight, folded against the body. But she's always a great finisher, the Sam Rashad. What an incredible athlete. Well done. And Shaping up to be a great conditions. competition. It is, definitely. Some decent scores across the board. By the five judges, the high and the low are tossed out. The remaining three multiplied by the degree of difficulty of 3.8. 87.40 on that fourth dive. You add it together with the rest of her dives, and she pulls into the lead with 310. So now Richard, 310.60. Will that hold? Will she be the champion here in Dublin and stop number two? 
Not going to be easy when Rihanna Niflan is next to come. It's a great score by Lassane Richard. Great way to put some pressure on Rihanna Niflan, mm -hmm. the reigning champion. And she's a very tough competitor. And that's and what you need to do. You need to rack up as many, many points as you possibly can before Iflan steps onto that platform. Uh, Iflan has been diving very well in the previous two rounds. Yeah. So she has an inward triple somersault in the, in the tuck position with a half twist. Average score, 98 points. Three-time Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series champion. Winner over the first stop this season in the Philippines. Hoping to earn her fourth career King Kai Keeley Trophy in 2019. She's won 12 World Series events of 18 since her first victory as a wild card. 16 podiums out of 18 starts. What an impressive average. It is. That is not easy in a sport that anything can go wrong, Joey. One little thing. It just got milliseconds to deal with it. It's remarkable. She's so consistent. So here we go. Pressure's on. She's got to score more than six and a halves. She's got to score sevens to take the lead from Lassane Richard. Just torpedoes into the water and does it once again. A brilliant dive by the champion, Rihanna Nifflin. She is unstoppable. An outstanding rip entry. She knows how to handle pressure traits. Yeah. And Every time someone like gives it to her and says, okay, here's my dive, Rihanna says, no problem. Watch this. Yeah. Fantastic. And really, really, what an incredible entry. We can look at it in slow motion shortly. What I like about this particular takeoff, look how aggressive it is. Very confident, kicking out at the right moment. And there it is again. So she comes from a trampoline background, Trey. So she's accustomed to landing feet first on the trampoline bed with this particular skill right here. Once again, the Barani. She's done that thousands of times. And that is why she's so clean through the water. But the takeoff is great. Very confident, very high. And that's what they need to see. If, if the jump is a bit timid, the judge is going to deduct for that. So full marks for the takeoff. Perhaps the toes could be a bit more pointed in the tuck, but that's being incredibly picky. Superb diving. Wow. Cliff diving spectacle here <laughs> in Dublin, Ireland. And she knows it. Having a good time. So confident, as you mentioned, Joey. And what separates her? I mean, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the athletes have the same degree of difficulty and even entry, but it's... I think it's upstairs. Mentally. <laughs> so mentally strong. Yeah, and also a, a wow. very good technical background. A Ooh, lot of training. That. A couple nine and a halfs in there. One of them by Claudio Demiro. He likes it. One, 104.50 on her fourth and final dive. Easily moves into the lead when you roll up all four together. So Rihanna Niflin, the champion here in Dublin at stop number two. Great job there. Brianna Niflan, first place. Lassane Richard, second. Adriana Jimenez, third position, who had relatively easy dives. Schmidt-Bauer, wow. Yeah, and Schmidt-Bauer's right up there. That's what would be one of her best results. So well done to her, increasing the degree of difficulty and the execution. So final results, gold in Dublin for Rihanna Niflan, the second win of this season. Lissandra Richard, always on the podium, grabs second. Ariana Jimenez, an impressive third place finish. And Ira Schmidt-Bauer of Germany, as we mentioned just off the podium, but an impressive day for the wild card German diver. So 85,000 spectators, it is a record on hand to witness Rihanna Niflin's winning dive right here, Joey. Break it down for us. It all comes down to the last dive. The pressure's on. You have to hit it, and hit it she did. Beautiful slow motion action. I love watching these dives where you can really break it down. Staying nice and tight in the water. You've got to be very, very tight to make sure you slice through to get the rip entry. The rip entry means no splash. And more often than not, she does it. And as you said, she's only ever been off the podium twice. 18 podiums, well now 19 podiums. Incredible. And that is her 13th win. As we look at the East Pier right there, the end of the East Pier with the red light tower in the Dunleary Harbor. Rhiannon Iflen will celebrate. She'll hold off, watch the men for a little while. Get right into them.
is they will be launching from 27 meters, 90 feet off. All right, great shot again of the red light tower on the east pier of the Dunleary Harbor. 85,000 fans. That is a record here in Dunleary. But let's send it down to the third member of our broadcast team, an action sports superstar from Ireland, David O'Queeve, with our winner. Another incredible performance, but one thing we have to ask you is Adriana Hermanis put pressure on, then Lisanne Richard put pressure on. How do you deal with that when you're standing on that platform? Uh, look, there's one thing that I always remember when coming into a competition and diving in general is uh, I can't change what anybody else does, so it's my game up there. For, it's, uh, you know, it's my moment to do my dive well or not to do my dive well, so you know, I think that really helps mentally. Absolutely, and your consistency is just phenomenal. I have to say, and the thing is, how do you how do you adapt to conditions when it's a little bit colder and a little bit windier, like here in Dublin? Yeah, you know, it is. It's really difficult to adapt. Um, let's be honest. But you know, I was prepared for, for this weather coming into to this stop here in Dublin. So I think uh, preparing for it and uh, just expecting the worst, so I wasn't going to be disappointed. Uh, that really helped. Absolutely, no doubt. A few ice baths to get you ready. Uh, ice baths. Ice spots? Oh, no, 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 just mental preparation. Okay, absolutely. Well, congratulations and enjoy the celebrations in the beautiful city that is Dublin. Thank you very much. <laughs> Some good advice from Rihanna Nifland there. So just yeah. focus on what you need to do. Don't worry about what happened with the, the other athletes. Yeah. And Dave knows, he, he knows the conditions well, being an Irish guy. He is, mate, wakeboarding in Wake Irish weather, I tell you. I know. <laughs> He's bold. <laughs> the feet frozen into the bindings. <laughs> All right. Now that we've seen the women and crowned our Dublin champion, Rihanna Niflin, we'll shift over to the guys. And their first three rounds are in the books. Some impressive diving as we look at the Carlisle Pier, Dublin Bay, within the Dunleary Harbor. And Joey, as I mentioned, the previous rounds for the men were impressive as well. So let's break down some of the highlights, and uh, why don't you get us up to speed on what's going on with the guys? Absolutely. We've got Gary Hunt here, the seven times Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series champion. Look at this dive. Front triple somersault, three and a half twists, pushing everything to the, to the limit. Konstantin Popovich, a former Olympian, hoping to go to the Tokyo Olympics as well. So that's a required dive round. Look at that half turn there, digging deep into the pike position. And this guy is a real powerhouse. We need to look out for this guy. Steve Labou, the spin master, placed second overall in the 2018 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Gary Hunt just beat him at the very last competition. And then Andy Jones as well. He won a Red Bull Cliff Diving tour stop in Dubai in a night event. All round stuntman, and this guy is very, very, very clever when it comes to the last part of the dive. Sneaks through the water with no splash. Mikhail Navratil impressing the crowds with a back arm stand. Two and a half somersaults, triple twist. The crowd was in absolute awe of the bravery of this particular maneuver. Mikhail Navratil, the showman. Super Till, they like to call him. And we'll see that shortly. Very entertaining character. Look at this. The first person in the world to do this dive. Wow, back arm stand, three and a half somersaults, two twists. Look how he kicks the legs, generates rotation. He's actually getting elevation wow. from the platform in a handstand position under these conditions in the wind. And as we said before, he's a former Olympian. He's hoping to compete in the FINA Diving World Championships in Korea this year and also in the discipline of high diving. What an athlete. Air temperature 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit as we look at the men's start list for round number four. Remember, all four dives count for the grand total. The lowest score after three rounds begins first. That's Owen Weymouth. Orlando Duque, the legendary diver, will run second. And then you have the last four divers in Aldridge, Colturi, who's diving well, Popovich, and Gary Hunt. 
once again is in a great position. Hunt diving well in these conditions. As we look at the Carlisle Pier packed with 85,000 fans. And to let you know that the water temperature 11 degrees Celsius, 52 degrees Fahrenheit. And you can just see the wind as Owen Weymouth holds up the flags. A 31 kilometers per hour average wind. And the men's tower, 27 meters, 90 feet above the water. And here is 20-year-old Owen Weymouth, the youngest male diver in this stop number two, Dublin Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. So the 20-year-old, he wants it. He's been diving well, Joey. <laughs> I mean, he during has. training, he he's has. getting after it. And he dreamed of being a cliff diver. I remember when he was like about 13 or 14, he was at a competition in Wales, and he was just a fan of all the cliff divers, and he told everyone, he says, one day I'm going to be a cliff diver. And he worked at it, and he worked at it, and here he is living his dream, standing on the platform. So he was going to actually do a inward quad somersault, and I was speaking to him before the competition. He said, look, I'm really struggling with the wind with that particular dive when you stand backwards on your tippy toes with your arms above your head. So it is safer or easier to rotate forwards. There's the pike position. Just like to see him point his toes a little bit more to get that nice arch in the feet. So it is about aesthetics. It is about being as graceful as possible. Once again, Trace Worthington, not judging the degree of difficulty, judging the execution of the dive. Then you multiply that by the degree of difficulty. The scores. Now, one of the guys that you will see in the future on this Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series, Owen Weymouth. A great score there, 254.75. So not bad, he's first to go. Again, he had that lowest score in the first three rounds. Orlando Duque gets set to go. A couple scratches. Americans Andy Jones and Steve Lobu. They are out of the competition. Apparently, Steve Lobu has an Achilles injury. Trying to get the word on Jones, but they will not be diving in here is Orlando Duque, the 44-year-old legend. He is one of the legends. As a matter of fact, he has done an, um, an expedition in Antarctica, a cliff diving expedition. So if anyone yes, knows how to handle the cold, <laughs> it's Orlando Duque. There he goes. Ah, I love the dive in the air. Big splash on the landing, Joey, but as we've always said before, Super. Orlando Duque is cliff diving. He is an iconic figure, around 20, 21 years of, of cliff diving, competitive experience. He's done a lot of athlete projects, diving off huge waterfalls in Brazil, diving out of helicopters. He's done it. He's done it, it all. And you know what he said scares him the most? The dark and small insects. <laughs> really? <laughs> I did yeah. not know that. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Afraid of small but not, insects. Not launching 90 feet off a platform. No, and here, this is 85 kilometers per hour when you hit the when you hit the water. So now he's choosing to play it safe, the flying front, just watching the lineup here, and just see how he's just slightly leaning back, especially with a, a front road rotating dive, the blind entry is very easy to kick up a splash. Good fly in the position there. And right here, that's why they call it blind. You can't see the water directly below. So look at he, he's looking at his feet. He's looking at him. Wow. He's trying to find something in front of him, maybe a jet ski or a boat, to line up. <laughs> he's made a small miscalculation. And you can see him just off that vertical angle, uh, kicking up the splash. I think it's funny. He said, looking for a jet ski or a boat. 58.804 through K. So that'll put him into eighth place with 243 flat. Gary Hunt is still in the lead, even if he has taken his fourth dive in 350.50. You know, I overheard Blake Alders the other day talking about that. Like, he, you know, their mind is in slow motion. You know, they can see things and, and hear things while they're floating through the air. Yeah, some like of you the, said, you know, pointing things out like a jet ski or a spectator even. Yeah. Steve Laboo talks about when he's rotating, he feels the, the wind, the whoosh as he goes by. So feeling the wind and counting with it as well. So it's very important to... Here's Work another, on your aerial here's, awareness. Here's another guy has been mentored by Duque, Jonathan Paredes, our 2017 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series champion. And he's been getting a lot of projects with Red Bull and going around the world like Duque and getting that experience, that vast experience in these conditions. That he has. Patagonia, South Africa, Mexico, in his home country. Jumping up and down, getting psyched up for the dive. 
for a triple somersault in the pike position from 27 meters, 90 feet high. Three second free fall. Last. 10 G's of physical force. He's got a lot of work to do though on this one, Joey. Earlier round dives didn't show good scores. Stay out, stay out. Just guiding the scuba divers okay. to get in the right position. Splash. And he's very big scores to take or to slide into third position. Jonathan Paredes, I've seen better on the entry myself, Joey, but how do you break that one down? I mean, Jonathan Paredes is so elegant in the air. He just makes everything look smooth. He makes everything look easy. And when you make it look easy, you're a champion. A bit like Greg Luganis. We used to watch Greg Luganis when he was diving. It just used to hang in the air. But look at this beautiful pike position. The form is impeccable. He just made a little micro adjustment there at the end. And Joey, just what I mean, what I mean on the over. landing is like, he, I'm so used to seeing him come in with just zero splash, like the, the almost the water comes inward. So, so it just stands out and jumps out when he has just a, the littlest of splash because he is so good. That is an interesting point. So yeah, quite often you just see him with absolutely no splash left behind. So this is what you'd call a big mistake, but a very tiny mistake right, in, for, comparison yeah, in comparison to all the other divers. But uh, they call him the style master and the rip master. And there's a reason for that. Took ballet lessons at his wife Noella's dance school to improve his body posture at one point. So Paredes comes in with 274.15. That puts the Mexican diver into fourth. But he was the winner of the King Kai Kili Trophy in 2017. So he's a formidable cliff diving athlete. Don't forget to check out our Facebook page at Red Bull Cliff Diving. Go on for the latest videos, photos, where we're going next, all the goods. Beautiful shot of Dublin Bay within the Dunleary Harbor. One of the finest man-made harbors in the world. And the best cliff divers in the world dropping 90 feet, 27 meters into the harbor in front of 85,000 fans as we get ready for Alexei Prigorov of Ukraine, 31 years old, one of the two new permanent divers on this 2019 series. Olympic bronze medals from Beijing, and Joey, the only Olympic medalist to compete on this series. Very impressive diver. He's an incredible athlete. Actually, he has the highest degree of difficulty in the series, but he is playing it safe at this particular competition. So a forward three somersaults with three positions. A very interesting dive to watch. Now, if he wants to get into the top three, he's got to score more than eight. You know, we talked about Duque being afraid of the dark and small insects. Alexia claims that he is afraid of small swimming pools. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> well, sometimes in the I mean, yeah. But not the Irish Sea. No, 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 yeah. no. But sometimes you're diving in these shows and they have these very tiny pools. Yeah. They're only 10 meters in diameter. Sometimes just three to four meters deep. Oh, so I thought you meant like one of those little backyard ones or something. You know? Yes, you know, just like the cartoons, like, you know, from the little ladder into the bucket. Like the little <laughs> turtles in it and stuff. But in all seriousness, Alexia is one incredible athlete. I mean, a bronze medal in the Olympics, that says it all. Very late. He's actually a very tall diver, so particularly when they're tall, you have to work very hard to get the rotation moving. So someone like Jonathan Paredes can spin very quickly. So Alexei Prigorov has to put a little extra effort in being taller. So bigger wheel spin slower, smaller wheel spin faster. But surprisingly, he's very powerful and very quick for his height. That really impresses a lot of the the other divers. And to get you up to speed, we have our divers in this round. Steven Lobu of the United States pulled out of the competition along with his teammate and good friend as well. Andy Jones. A little warm up. Looks like he's a so running, running start. Yeah, he'll be doing a running takeoff, so he's marking out his approach so he knows exactly how to run up and land at the very end of the platform. You don't want to land too short of the end. You can see him grabbing his shins there, trying to get some grip. 
to make sure he doesn't slip out of the dive. Maximum concentration here. I sense something big coming up, Trace. So does Jonathan Paredes. Wow! Trace Worthington, <laughs> a front quad somersault with two and a half twists, the hardest dive in the world. Degree of difficulty, 5.4. What a show. Wow. Unbelievable dive for Prigorov of the Ukraine, the 31-year-old. He wants it. Hunt, by the way, is still in the lead with 350.50 points. So will this take over the top spot? And remember, Hunt still has to take his fourth dive. Watch this. Arms up above the head. The two twists in the middle, then back into the pike, then into the brani. He was telling me, this dive you have to work so hard. Every part of the dive, you can't be lazy. You need to be thinking about everything oh so carefully. So running to generate more rotational speed. That's why he's running towards the end. There's the pike. Now watch this, wrapping into the two twists. And then now when he finishes the two twists, he has to use all that abdominal strength. Wow. You can see the legs splitting apart there with so much centrifugal force. It's just pulling the legs apart. So you need a lot of strength to make sure that you can keep the body in line. Slightly shorter vertical, so Landing short is diving terminology. Shorter vertical, not quite vertical, but wow, what a dive. The hardest dive in the world, 5.4 degree of difficulty. What and, a thrill uh, and, for and the spectators. And under these conditions. Oof, he says. Not warm out. <laughs> 121.50, that's a gigantic score. The high and the low tossed out from the five judges, 320 flat. He moves into third with that one. Earlier round dives weren't as impressive, which means Gary Hunt still remains our leader and still hasn't taken his fourth dive. I mean, it's like a IndyCar race or a Grand Prix where Gary Hunt's lapped everybody. <laughs> <laughs> you know, here we are. <laughs> We're on our fifth diver right now. Well, that's due to some of the divers having to change some of their dives for yeah. the conditions as well. So that's, uh, but anyway. Gary Hunt's put his foot down. I mean, you can see the win. Here's the salsa dancer from Mexico, Sergio Guzman, the wild card diver, 28 years old, was a permanent diver. Spoke to him about wanting to get back into that permanent diver position. As you look at the tower right there in the background, and as we mentioned before, Enos Moore has held the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series before, but instead of bringing 85,000 fans to that area. We decided to bring the cliff to here at the Carlisle Pier, just outside of Dublin, to put it in front of the fans. Sergio Guzman, an interesting diver. Often he performs back quad somersaults, reverse quad somersaults, the only athlete to perform those particular dives. But today he's chosen to do an inward Triple somersault the tuck position. You can see him bouncing around trying to get warm. He's a Mexican athlete. They don't like the cold conditions. <laughs> yeah. And you've known him well. You've known him for a long time. Former diving coach from Mexico City. And, you know, we know that he does take a bit longer to dive. And under these circumstances, maybe a little bit longer. I mean, he, he takes a little bit longer even when the conditions are perfect. It's those idiosyncrasies of the different athletes. So some athletes like Blake Aldridge, for example, once he's on the platform, watch out. You better be looking at the dive. A few times you get caught out, and he's actually left the platform before you've seen the takeoff. <laughs> and we talk about talk about the permanent diver versus the wild card diver, Joey, and get everyone up to speed on how that works. So you've got 10 permanent series divers, and then at each tour stop, they invite four wild cards. And so if you perform well as a wild card early on, so they leave some spots open, and if you're diving well, then you may get more tour stops and then potentially get enough points to qualify as a permanent series diver for next year. But he's got to do a lot of work to get on the permanent series for next year. There's the standings. 350 with Hunt. Popovich in second. And right now, Prigorov of Ukraine in third. Guzman's going to need some big scores if he wants to get up on the podium here in Dublin, in addition to earning his way back into a 
permanent diver position someday. There's the rituals. So each diver, if you look at them carefully, they all have a ritual before their dive, a set pattern of things that they do. And they all visualize the dives. They picture it in their mind, and they usually block it through physically. You can see him rubbing his hands there. He's trying to get plenty of grip on his hands. So sometimes when it's salty or the conditions, you might have a little bit of grease on your legs, and you don't want to slip out of the dive, so you need a lot of grip on your hands and on your shins. You don't want to slip out of the dive. Very windy. Difficult in the air. What a superb entry by Guzman of Mexico. And he is fired up. The sound was incredible, Trace Worthington. You can hear it tearing through the water. As you said, the rip entry. He's pumped. He Fist in the be. air. Fist in the air. I mean, under these conditions, 15 degrees Celsius, 59 degrees Fahrenheit is the air temperature. And the water, 11 degrees Celsius, 52 degrees Fahrenheit. It is dark, it is difficult, it is challenging, it is windy, and he delivers. And you're just so nervous on the platform before the dive, and there's an immense amount of relief when you hit the water. And sometimes when you hit the water and you know you can hear it in your ear, you've ripped the dive, and it's such a thrill. So you've faced your fears, and you've also you've done a great dive with great execution. It is one of the most satisfying feelings in the world, and one of the most relieving feelings. Look at the emotions of Sergio Guzman from Mexico. Standing backwards, rotating in towards the platform. Look how close he comes to the platform. You need to do that to make sure you have enough rotational speed. So Trace, if you move too far away from the platform on a dive like that, you're gonna start to have a very slow rotating dive. So distance from the platform for the judges is, is important, as well as for making sure you have enough rotational speed. Pure action, pure motion, raw cliff diving here in Dublin, Ireland. Well, the judges like it. He gets a nine from Claudio De Miro. That'll be tossed out. He'll keep three eight and a halfs. So 91.80. Fourth place with 306.80. So his first round dive, if that was a little bit better, Guzman could be looking at a podium here in Dublin. But not this time around. As we get ready for Chris Kalanis of Poland. He has some fancy shorts on. Got a bit of martial arts action on here. I'm digging the shorts, Trace Worthington. Yeah, I love the Parachute them. pants. Those are sweet. Always so strong in the early rounds of diving. Impressive. He is. He starts oh, he ditched very him. well. He starts very well. First two rounds, but he did win the competition in Texas. Chris Kalanis, 32 years old, his fourth and final dive, looking for a podium spot here in Dublin. Boom! Chris Kalanis, he's as fired up as Guzman on that one. Rips the entry. Good friend of his, Sergio Guzman, Chris Kalanis, be proud. Will that be enough to pull into the lead? Hunt with 350.50. He's so stylish, he's so elegant. And when he's on, he is on. Same dive as Sergio Guzman, in with triple somersault, but this time in the pike position. He just keeps everything in line. Fantastic scores by Chris Kalanis. Actually, he also performs a front five somersaults in the pike position, believe it or not. Same dive as Steve Labou. But look at the flexibility. See how the chest was completely folded against the legs. Maximum points from the judges, flying like an eagle, keeping his eye on the water the whole time. And there we have it. 10 G-forces upon impact. The travel about on a dive like that with a good entry, yeah. he'll go down about four meters. And that's why the divers are coming in feet first. Yep, that is right. Head first. It's <laughs> too strong of an impact. Good camaraderie amongst all the athletes. Yeah. Sergio Guzman, Chris Kalanis. Well, they know how difficult it is with these conditions. He gets on the boat with 
the judges. And his score, by the way, Kalanis with a 324.90 to get you up to speed. And Kalanis moves into second. So Gary Hunt, in a sense, and the best way to, to communicate this, is still lapping the field. Kalanis with six to go. And Gary Hunt, who hasn't taken his fourth round dive, still remains the leader with 350.50 points. I think that's because he put some more difficult dives on earlier on. And so some of the divers did some easier dives and some difficult dives. That may be the case. So let's see how things fare now that we know that the other divers have some big degree of difficulty. So that's an interesting point. Here we have Mikhail Navratil, yeah. Supratil. He, well, you were telling me, he encompasses the three E's. What are those? Energetic, exciting, and entertaining. Here we go. <laughs> and he says he needs this. He needs the energy from the crowd. He likes to yeah. engage with them. He likes to get them cheering. He loves it. It helps him rise to the occasion. And wow. he's, in, he's in pretty good shape, too. It's a little bit ripped. Yeah, he's in good shape. Not bad for Mikhail Navratil, the entertainer. He's done a good job with the dive. Is that good enough, though? We're still looking at question. Hunt with that 350. What does he need, Joey? OK, if he wants to get into the top three position, he would need eights from the judges. We can only tell from the side position where the judges will be looking from. So. This is the triple somersault in the pike position. He's done this dive many, many, many times. Now, he's got a lot of experience. He's had the second highest number of starts in the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Gary Hunt has managed to be at every single tour stop. He's also a stunt performer. But most of all, he is a superb cliff diving athlete, great physical shape to withstand that impact, 85 kilometers per hour. The question is, how will he fare in the competition now with the judges' scores? Bunch of eight and a halfs, five judges. The high and the low are tossed out. The remaining three multiplied by the degree of difficulty, 86 on that last and final dive, 328.75. So Navratil moves into second. So Gary Hunt, still the leader with 350.50 points. And we saw that earlier round impressive dive by Alexei Prigorov. Let's go down to Mr. O'Queeve, who is standing by with him to talk about that dive. David. Oleski Prigorov, wow, you just did the highest difficulty dive here in Dublin in these conditions. Yeah, it, I am so happy to represent this dive at this World Series and uh, to compete with these big stars here, so I'm excited. Well, we are happy to watch you and congratulations on such a sensational trick. Thank you very much, thank you. And here it is. A lot of respect for the fellow athletes, but the other athletes have a lot of respect for Alexier. Wow, the bravery required, the skill required, the aerial awareness required. Outstanding. This guy is what you call a supreme, supreme athlete. Great physical shape, very fast, highly skilled, former Olympian. If you just joined us, we are in the fourth and final round for the men here. Dublin, Ireland, stop number two of the 2019 Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Americans Andy Jones and Steve Lobu have scratched. They will not take their fourth dive. Next up, we will look at Alessandro Dorose, the wild card, 26 years old. In fact, the first wild card diver ever to win an event when he won in his home country in 2017 in front of thousands of fans in Polignano Amare, Italy, where we are heading next for stop number three. Gary Hunt still the leader with 350.50. We're still yet to see his fourth dive. What does De Rose have in stock? Let's have a look at Alessandro De Rose's dive. Now he wants to push it as well. Back three somersaults with three twists in the pipe position. Now it's looking good. To take first position, he would need six and a halves or sevens from the judges. That is within his grasp. He can do that. This is a relatively new dive mm. for him, though, Trace Worthington. Yeah, we were talking about cooking the other day, too. 
Oh, so he wants to be a chef. He's a very good chef. Yeah, cliff diving. So we're chef hooking up tour. with him down in Italy. <laughs> that we will. That will be the You're next tour stop. by the way, when he was talking about the stuff that he cooks down there. And we'll talk about the oh, experience awesome. watching Alessandro dive in front of his home crowd after this particular dive. Let's see how he goes with his new dive. Remember, I score six and a halves. He can do this. Boom, he nails it. And the cliff divers, the fellow athletes like it, showing their appreciation for what Alessandro De Rose has just done. And that's what you need to do. And he needs it for the confidence too. He didn't have the greatest that's start in the Philippines, exactly. so now it's time to make up for lost ground. There's a two and a half twist, there's the pike. Working hard at the bottom of the dive. And he's put a lot of muscle bulk on in the pre-season because it's a long season. It's a very strong impact in the water, so you've got to get through seven competitions. There are also FINA high diving competitions outside of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. So you've got to do a lot of pre-season work. And I think Trace Worthington, it was a really emotional moment in 2017 when he yeah. won in front oh of his home God. crowd. I, it was so I cool. I couldn't believe it. I mean, it was like someone had scripted it for a movie. Very emotional character, winning in front of his home crowd. His that first was win. one moment to remember. Great scores. Pretty good score. 108 on that fourth dive. Remember, all of them are added together from earlier rounds. So De Rose finally gets ahead of Gary Hunt with 373 flat. So now it is time for Blake Aldridge to take care of business. 36 years old, veteran diver with 53 events under the belt. A lot of expertise, a lot of, a lot of diving in cold and hot water. See how he fares here in Dublin. A little bit of a splash on sideways on that one. So will that be enough, Joey, with his first three round scores to pull into the top three and possibly the lead? The Rose holds it down with 373 right now. It's gonna be pretty tricky. He's known for his twisting dives. In the past, he's done five twists with this particular style of dive, rotating in the reverse direction. So watching how he jumps up, rotating back towards the platform, that's called reverse. Coming at three and a half twists, the last part of the dive. Another half twist will make it four twists in total. Doesn't look too happy with the expression <laughs> on his face. Very charismatic, very passionate diver. Blake Aldridge, the Brit, awaits his scores from the five judges. Only three divers remain as Aldridge comes in with a 92 on that dive. Added together, 365 tenths. Second place behind the Rose of Italy. So on the podium for now. So the Rose 373, the score to beat. Aldridge. Hunt is in third and still hasn't taken his fourth dive. Navratil just off the podium in fourth. So it all boils down to three left. David Kolturi, Konstantin Popovich, and Gary Hunt. And there is the American, David Kolturi. Returns competition for the first time in the Philippines after a spleen injury last August that required surgery. And that was a pretty scary moment. A lot of people, including ourselves, didn't think he was going to make it back into the sport. Joined us in the commentary booth. Had a great time with us there, Joey. But now he is diving and on fire these days. He's a very hard-working athlete. He did everything right in terms of his physical preparation and his rehabilitation. Exact same dive as Blake Aldridge. Reverse two somersaults with four twists. Now he's got a chance to take the lead as well. Big in the air, a bit of a splash on that landing. Joey, your thoughts, will that do it? Will that pull into the lead? 
Yeah, look, really unfortunate with the entry, but the positive thing about David Kulturi, this guy has an incredible takeoff, an incredible jump. I call him Mr. Twister because yeah. it is so clean. Watch this. I mean, those, those, those new to the sport, I mean, does the difficulty outweigh some of the bigger splash? It can. You've got to play that game. So when you do a high degree of difficulty dive, higher risk of perhaps not executing the dive all that well. But I've got to look at the takeoff. The takeoff wow. was fantastic. Look how the... You could look at the feet and you could look at how you could draw a line from the feet to the head in that straight position. Now he's digging deep. And it looks like here... Okay, he's over-rotated. Perhaps what he did is hold on to that pike position a little bit too long. He needed to open out a little earlier. Unfortunate, but let's see how he fares. He knows that that 89.70 will actually help him move into the lead with 374.50. So David Colturi guaranteed a podium position here in Dublin. The question is what color will that medal be? Gold, silver, or bronze? It is gold at the moment, 374.5 for Colturi. De Rosse in second with his 373 on the podium for now. Aldridge in third. And we have Konstantin Popovich coming up. And Gary Hunt, who currently is in fourth and still hasn't taken his final dive. The sun is lowering. It's getting darker. It's getting chillier. The fans still remain. 85,000 strong here in Dublin to watch the world's best at stop number two of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. Konstantin Popovich of Romania. Confident diver, Joey. That he is. I love watching this athlete. Great body language. Confident, as you said. Inward quad somersault, so he'll spin in towards the platform. Four somersaults in the pike position. He only needs a 53.50 to move into the lead. He's got a chance to be on the podium, without a doubt. Popovich making it look easy. This Barely guy. a drop of water left behind on that one. This guy is just so impressive. He's only been on the scene such a short yeah. time and he's already making us so, so much headway. He's thrilled with his dive. This is his fifth start on the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series in his career. He has one podium that happened in the Philippines. Second place. Just behind Gary Hunt. Sending a message to the rest of the field, Joey. Yep, second Big place time. at the FINA High Diving World Cup in Abu Dhabi last year. What a performance. Now, he's been used to diving in those cold conditions in the southern part of England in Cornwall, and he did that purposely to acclimatize for this competition, and it looks like it's paid dividends. Konstantin Popovich, what a performance. Former Olympian, he's also aiming for the Olympics in Tokyo. Look at the pike position. Watch how close his feet will come to the platform That's there. Crazy. And you need to do that in that pike position. The flexibility is absolutely impeccable. And he's diving regularly, and he's high diving regularly, and he's in fine tune. So he really understands what he needs to do at the right moments. Diving regularly, training hard. Look at his physical strength as well. Once again, the camaraderie amongst the athletes is great. Yeah, and you mentioned he wants to go to the 2020 Olympics in, 10, in the 10-meter platform. So he wants to and compete in diving and high diving. Wow, the score! Wow, and he gets a 10 right there. So Claudio De Miro of Italy likes it enough. He will get a 10 on that. That is big time. He'll throw that out and keep three nine and a halves. And Popovich of Romania is the new leader and guaranteed a podium spot and a shot at winning here in Dublin. What a competition, Trace wow. Weather. That was sensational. <laughs> That's incredible. A big score. So Popovich, Kulturi, De Rose, the top three. Gary Hunt next. Let's talk about the stats real quick. Seven-time Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series champ. 74th World Series start. He's never missed one. 35 career victories. He's won nearly half of the events he's entered since 2009. 60 visits to the podium. That's an 83% average, and he continues to flourish. Rocking the Irish swimsuit. Yeah. Killer. <laughs> Killer. Awesome. 
11 years on the series, but now let's talk about the the dive. In with three somersaults in the pike position with a half twist. Oh, he's got to get nine and a halves from the judges to take the lead. This could be Constantine's day, or will it be for Gary Hunt? Gary Hunt, so good under pressure, the magic man. It is now a you good see him, dive. It is now you good, don't. Oh, it is a good dive, but I don't know if it will be enough for Gary Hunt. And he's also trying to break that record. He's had five wins in a row, and he's trying to get to six, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Why? Because, everything... of the, because of the degree of difficulty or the entry? Well, a little bit of both, but Konstantin Popovich has just been incredibly consistent and scored a 10 on that last dive. There's the handspring from Gary Hunt. Showmanship okay. there in front of the Irish crowd here. Wasn't quite the worm we saw earlier. No, it wasn't quite the worm, but still impressive. Backing off from the platform a little bit too much. So once again, you need to have the right distance from the platform. Mm. Constantine was much closer to the platform to pick up that rotational speed. But this has been an incredible competition. Admiral performance, top of nines across the board with one eight and a half by claudio so he'll toss that out toss out a nine gary hunt 102.60 and look at the grand total score he is second so konstantin popovich of romania wins his first ever red bull cliff diving world series and does it in only his fifth career start that is an incredible performance and he's also talking about doing a new dive in the future to increase his degree of difficulty now we have someone chasing gary hunt the seven times rebel cliff diving world series champion this guy yeah. the supreme athlete konstantin popovich throwing in towards the platform and this is the winning dive but it takes four dives to get there with the complete result. And he has been absolutely focused and ready, prepared properly, as we said before, training in those cold conditions in Cornwall and England. And this is a well-deserved win. Well-deserved win, Konstantin Popovich. And he is with David Okweev down by the water. David. My goodness, you came second in the Philippines and then today stepping it up, taking the win. That, that is just sensational. Well, I'm really happy uh, to be here and to have a great crowd and um, to win this competition. I didn't expect to be that tough. Uh, always Gary is the strongest uh, competent, but um, I'm really happy uh, to, to be the first today. Absolutely, and you had such an incredible dive and you mentioned the crowd and that's one thing I do want to ask. What is it like in front of a record breaking 85,000 people, the atmosphere, how does that compare to every other event? Uh, it's always amazing to have uh, so many people around, it gives you like a good boost uh, to, to motivate for your dives and uh, that's what it was today and I'm really happy and thank you everybody for, uh, for being here, it was a pleasure. Well thank you for an amazing performance, congratulations, enjoy the celebrations in Dublin and congrats once again. Thank you very much. Alright, thanks Dave. An impressive first win by Pop Popovich and you know Joey we saw it a couple days ago just during training I mean he was hot lapping <laughs> hot lapping and taking so many training rounds yeah, he's just so confident just and he makes off. his mind up of what he wants to do and he says I'm gonna do this and executes it Popovich wins gold and his first ever Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series event Gary Hunt on the podium once again so looking at David Colturi of the United States back on the podium. So Colturi, an impressive result for him. Alessandro Dorose getting that confidence back mm -hmm. as we head to his home country of Italy at our next stop, number three. Guzman Paredes and Lobu and Jones of the United States pulling out of the last round. Kind of put them at the bottom of the heat. But what a day for all of the divers here in Dublin. And stop number two. It's great hearing from Konstantin Popovich.
about the crowd and how he really likes it. It helps him rise to the occasion. So some of the athletes may get a little nervous being in front of that many people. But as you said before, a record, 85,000 people. And what a treat for them here today. These are the world's greatest cliff diving athletes. So... So we'll crown our champions here in Dublin. Prize giving ceremony on the other side of the platform. And again, a great shot and a great host here in Dublin, Ireland and Dunleary. The folks here have been fantastic. Putting on a great event and the man to do it in front of a record crowd is Konstantin Popovich. The prize giving moments away. Rihanna Nifflin on the women's side takes yet another victory. I'll tell you what, it's great to see some athletes now starting to push those, mm. those athletes such as Gary Hunt and, and Rihanna Nifland as well. Now we're looking at Adriana Jimenez from Mexico in third position. So Adriana having a nice day. And for those pauses that she took, in her third round dive, which we saw that wasn't in our live show. And to come back from that and to be on the podium, quite impressive. Yeah, there was a moment where I thought she might not actually she continue with the dive and she just yeah. couldn't get the balance. And so she played it safe, played it consistent and dove really well. Lassane Richard taking second place. Oh, Lassane Richard, I mean, she has been consistent since her comeback. She's been training so hard. Some of the folks from Canada out here did a little documentary on her. and. She's perhaps one of the most passionate cliff diving athletes. Yeah. She lives for the sport. Mother of three, Cirque du Soleil performer. Inspirational stuff. And Rihanna Nifflin once again does it. Another commanding lead from Rihanna Nifland. Really looking forward to seeing what she can do in the next competitions, but also to see who can push Rihanna Nifland as well. She's so yeah. consistent. And another well-deserved win for her today. Congratulations to all three ladies. Great job. We talked the challenging climates and conditions. Great job, ladies. Rhiannon Iflin, crown champion in Dublin. Champagne time, let it loose, here we go. It's been a long day, Trace, actually, as well, so you've got to wait a long time for the competition late in the evening, and that's due to the tide, so you've got to wait for the exact tide to dive and to make sure you have the right height in the platform. So it's a very nervous wait as you wait. There's and here's the winning, the winning dive up. once again. In with triple somersault in the tuck position. Great elevation. Once again, all four dives. Oh, so consistent. Yeah, that's the it's thing. We, we, we talked the winning dive in, in, the, in the fourth round. I mean, it's really the, the deal sealer in the fourth round, but really setting that pace and, and a lot a lot of people were off of the podium today a lot of the athletes were off the podium today because of their first round dive and you can't make any mistakes now I mean, you've got to hit every single dive especially with this depth of field that we have in the women and the men currently if you're below the eight mark that's it you're off the podium you've got to score eights and nines on all four dives that is a requirement now it's time for the men David Kulturi in third position. That's great for him after about, the injury. It was less than a year ago when he had that spleen surgery and that, that, the accident. And he actually had a great start to the season. It was a real shame. So he's on the podium twice before the incident. 
Yep. And uh, this is very encouraging for David Kulturi to get back on the podium once again. A real confidence boost leading in for the remainder of the season. Gary Hunt, an unfamiliar position. Unfamiliar. Second. But still on the podium. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah, no, <laughs> <laughs> the magic man. 83% strike rate. Crazy. Of being on the podium over such a long period of time over well this is the 11th season that we've had so 10 11 years now the man of the hour Konstantin popovic from romania put the sunglasses on stay cool yeah stay cool man but wow i'm really impressed Great with his job. confidence his prowess his skill he's so businesslike about it he gets on the platform and says i am going to do this and i'm going to do it well you've got to believe in yourself chase worthington Different national anthem than we are used to hearing at the Red Bull Cliff Diving World yes, Series. Yes, I haven't the heard side. the Romanian anthem. Konstantin Popovich takes it. Gary Hunt second. David Kulturi from the United States with the bronze here in Dublin. Time to celebrate. Well deserved. They put a lot of effort into this competition and training over the years. Congratulations to these three men. Konstantin Popovich recapping on the winning dive and his flexibility is out of this world. When you've got to train five hours a day to do this, two hours in the morning, three or three and a half hours in the afternoon, and also making sure he was physically prepared for the cold conditions mm. in Southern England. And he um, he's a motivated character. He doesn't make any excuses for anything. Okay, I know it's cold, but I know I need to do the job. He rallied. He blocks everything out and gets on with it. A true champion, well-deserved. Yeah. Great to see the depth of the field increasing amongst the men. Sensational. And that's what it takes. All right. Our next stop, no better place for the third stop of the World Series than Polignano Mari, Italy, located in southern Italy, where the houses rise literally from the rocks and the athletes drop from a private residence rooftop terrace into the Adriatic Sea, known as the heart of European cliff diving. Bolognano Mare is always a spectator, athlete, and fan favorite stop on the series. And you can guarantee an enthusiastic crowd will be there to cheer on Italy's Alessandro De Rose, who won there in 2017. Joey, you mentioned that earlier. Mark your calendars for Sunday, June 2nd. Joey and I will call it live. But for now, we wrap things up from here in Dublin in stop number two of the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series. And as always, job well done by the divers and our entire crew behind the scenes. I'm Trace Worthington on behalf of Joey Zuber and David O'Queeve. We thank you for watching the Red Bull Cliff Diving World Series from Dublin, Ireland. Goodbye and farewell. See you in a little. While others watch you.